Hey everybody, Chief here. Thanks for checking out my latest video. Now before I get started, I want to put a big shout out and thank you to Lone Spanker for becoming my most recent channel sponsor through Patreon. So recently, I released a video discussing the complete breakdown of the brand new Honor Points system. And in that video, which I'm going to put a link to above, I discussed and recommended using a balanced hanger if you were planning on farming for Honor Points, rather than using the traditional full damage hanger and just going for damage, which is how the old point system used to score. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna discuss the two different play styles and put it into action to show you what the real difference is between using a balanced hanger and a full damage hanger when you're trying to get honor points. Now keep in mind this is just talking about how it relates and equates to honor points. Now first I'm going to go over what a balanced hanger is. A balanced hanger is obviously a fast robot or a beacon capper, a healer which is very important with the new system, and a tank. A tank can also be extremely useful with the new system. And of course you're going to have at least one or two damage or DPS robots in your lineup. Now a full damage hanger is damage, 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 and more damage. Now while this playstyle can in fact flourish under the new system, I'm going to point out and show you with different matches how these actually stack up against each other. Now keep in mind I'm actually going to be using my battle rec account and the reason for that is because all the robots weapons are MK2 maxed out uh, so there's not going to be much disparity between the two different hangers other than the style of play. Okay so the first thing that I did is I built my hangers and I basically just played a few matches using each play style. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually only going to show you one full match uh, using each of the play styles. Um, I just kind of picked the match that best shows what you can expect if you are playing uh, using these different play styles. Now, the first match is going to be using an all damage hanger. And when I was playing these matches, I was basically not concerning myself with beacons. Uh, obviously, I didn't have any healers in my lineup, so those points weren't even a possibility. And basically, I just played the matches, did as much damage as I could to try to help my team win. Um, I was able to win all the matches, actually using uh, both uh, both play styles, which was good, um, but uh, I really want you to just kind of take a look and see what you might actually expect from the honor, the new honor point system, and then you can kind of choose for yourself. You know, if you want to make changes to your lineup, or if you just want to keep playing how you've been playing, it's uh, entirely up to you. But I do know for myself, when I'm not in a squad and I'm just playing to play or farming. I've got a healer in my lineup. I make sure that I'm running a balanced hanger because personally, I like getting those extra points. And at the end of this video, I will show you a uh, comparison and the overall difference between the two different play styles. Okay, so here's the first match. Uh, this is using my all damage hanger, uh, dropping in on Dreadnought. And uh, I'm going to start off with my uh, one of my Aljuns, this one with the Avengers, and this mainly because I've got lockdown ammo on it, and uh, I'm uh, you know it's got the 500 meter range, so if anybody's trying to uh, make it towards that left beacon, I can try to uh, stop them and uh, let my teammate uh, get a better chance of actually getting the beacon. And uh, you see here, I'm doing pretty good damage, uh, even at uh, you know, quite a diff distance. Um, this is uh, a really good setup if you uh, run an June, It's very strong. Uh, it could put out a lot of damage. And uh, I'm just kind of hanging back and I'm going to keep an eye over these two beacons. And I'm going to come up and see if they need a little bit of help over on the right. But uh, this guy decided to shoot me, so I'm going to try to uh, take him down. 
Okay, with a little help of the uh, teammate, he went down. So I'm just gonna stay up here now and uh, try and try and keep the uh, reds pinned down on the left side. I uh, ended up going down there, but uh, that's okay because I have another Aljun. Now this Aljun is with the Redeemers. This is an insanely strong uh, setup, and uh, I'm running it with Deathmark, which is, uh, well, it can just do a lot of damage when you're facing uh, some robots that uh, have a lot of health. But uh, now I'm over here on the right side, and I'm just gonna try and uh, try and keep the reds pinned back here on the right side now. Looks like uh, I have a, a teammate over here to the left of me, so we should uh, we should be doing okay as far as this match goes. Uh, we've got them four capped already. We've uh, been able to keep the reds pinned back for uh, most of the match so far, and their beacon bar is disappearing quickly. Now this is something to kind of keep in mind when you are running, you know, full damage. You know, it's it's all right if you're running solo or maybe even in duos, uh, but you know, depending on the level of your gear or how you're playing, or even maybe sometimes you know the kinds of randoms that you might get uh, dropped in with, you know, some of these matches might be relatively short, and that's because you are just pushing and knocking those reds out you're killing a bunch of them you're doing as much damage as quick as possible and um, you know so that's you know kind of part of the play style there and uh, here I am here with the uh, Ares and I'm just going to uh, help protect this side still uh, it's a little too late for them to really be pushing beacons so you know if I was on the red team at this point I would just be trying to get as much damage as I could because the, uh, the match is almost over. And uh, this ended up being a uh, relatively short match. Like I said, we just uh, really, really went for damage. Uh, stopped them from being able to push beacons. And uh, my team did uh, really well with uh, holding the beacons once we got them. And you can see here, I got, you know, less than 2,000 honor points, even though I was top damage and, you know, this here is just, you know, a breakdown. I mean, some of those points, I have zero chance of getting, you know, uh, beacons. I wasn't paying attention to beacons. I was only going for damage. Now, in some cases, yeah, you could probably get a beacon or two, but you're probably not going to be the top person with beacons unless you focus on them. Um, and uh, so, so here I got zero points for beacons and uh, zero points for repairing allies. I, I didn't uh, repair any durability. I don't have any repair robots in my lineup, and uh, that just you know zero chance of getting it. Even though I did pick up some decent uh, points for the win, uh, for doing damage to uh, other robots, uh, for destroying the uh, robots. You know, it was all good points, but uh, unfortunately, you're just not. You know you're not doing yourself much service by automatically discluding yourself from even having a chance at getting some of the other points and now these are some summaries of the three matches that I did you can uh, pause it take a look at it the highest I got was 2300 and uh, you know that was it so the uh, average for this play style was uh, 2128 honor points per match um, you know, honestly, you, it, it's going to vary depending on the strength of your hangar, the strength of your robots, it's, you know, there's a lot of things that go into this and that's why I kind of took an average, you know, something that you, you might be able to expect when you are playing with this play style. So now, uh, moving on, I'm going to uh, do the same thing and I'm going to run uh, three matches with uh, different lineup different hanger and this one is going to be my balanced hanger you see here i have a uh, beacon capper in this is a loki um, and uh, i am running solo on these and i'm not running boosters so uh, you know it's not the fastest as as i can be um, 
but uh, it, it can still get the job done and allows me to focus on beacons. And here you see me dropping in with a uh, uh, tank. This is a Fenrir. Uh, my opinion is the best tank in the game right now. Um, he puts out some insane damage um, and he's really good. You can see right here he dropped in. He's going to defend this beacon and he does a really good job and just tears these reds up. Uh, defending this beacon stops them from even having a chance at getting their home beacon back um, and and that's the thing with a balanced hangar uh, you you have the ability to influence the game a little more than just with damage you can influence the game by getting beacons you can influence the game by healing allies healing yourself um, and uh, defending beacons or even using a tank to just forcefully take a beacon if you're not doing it with a beacon runner um, you know there's there's a lot that uh, you know that goes into running a balanced hangar um, so here we are, this was one of the other matches that I was running, you know, once again, got the Loki, obviously he's, he's a pretty good beacon runner, uh, he can get the job done, and uh, plus he's a lot of fun to play, but, uh, you know, uh, I'll let you uh, watch a couple of these short clips, and then we will get into the match that I wanted to show you with uh, running a balanced hanger, I think it really represents... Um, Overall, what you can do with a balanced hangar if you are actually getting through your robots, you're actually utilizing them in a way that influences that honor point system to your benefit. So after this next match and uh, after the breakdown and comparison of the two playstyles for you, I'll go ahead and uh, throw in some more montage video for you guys just to enjoy uh, watching some of the various gameplay because man I had a lot of fun recording this video, I played some really good matches and I hope you guys enjoy the footage. Okay guys, so here we are dropping into the second full match of this video using the uh, balanced hanger this time. I am dropping in on Yamantau and I am starting off with the Loki. I am going to uh, just try and get some, get this first beacon here and then try and get to center just as quickly as possible because that center beacon on Yamantau will set the tone for the entire rest of the match. Uh, if your team doesn't make it into center and uh, properly defend it, uh, it could turn out really badly for your team, especially on this map. So coming up, I dropped a death mark on this guy so my team could start hitting him and take him uh, down in health. And uh, I am going to try and finish him off. So there we go. So back in stealth I go, stop them from uh, being able to respawn here. And uh, I'm going to get uh, center beacon here. And then I'm just going to uh, try and be a little bit of a pain because uh, nobody does that better than the Loki. And uh, coming up here on the uh, right side, uh, they've got quantum radar. So you see the uh, Loki goes down, but that's all right because I was able to get two beacons and most importantly, that center beacon. So I'm gonna drop in here with an Aljun and I am going to uh, try to uh, defend this beacon. Now, uh, this setup with the Embers is really good for uh, closer combat with the Aljun, uh, pretty good with defending beacons or helping your teammate to uh, push a beacon. Uh, does quite a bit of damage as you can see here. And I was able to take out two people and almost got this third guy. I got caught up here um, and uh, ended up uh, really kind of, uh, uh, it was kind of a, a bad move uh, and bad landing with the Aljun so he ends up getting taken out here uh, rather quickly but uh, he was able to take out a couple of the reds and uh, stop them from pushing the center beacon uh, and it uh, lets me drop in now with the mender so I can uh, help uh, heal my team here in center uh, you'd be surprised at uh, how well a healer can do especially on this map if you do have center and uh, you have teammates there helping to defend it um, so I'm going to uh, just try and get a little bit of damage here and there as I can and try to uh, you know heal any any damage heal me, uh, any damage to my teammates um, you can see here it's uh, Aries you know he might take a little bit of damage so I uh, threw up a heal just in case I uh, was able to get a lockdown on the Aries down on the right so I'm going to uh, come around and do a little bit of damage on that side if I can. 
The uh, Mender is uh, surprisingly strong uh, as a brawler as well, so uh, for those of you that aren't too sure about uh, using the Mender, he is actually a really strong brawler, so um, you're not really going to be uh, losing much uh, if you do put one in your lineup, and they're quite fun to play. So I see a, a teammate back here, uh, one of the camper camper teammates, but uh, you know what, he's on my team, so I'm going to try and heal him up a little bit, and uh, you know what, it gives me a little more uh, silver in the end of the match too, so got uh, him healed up, and now I'm back up here, and I'm going to have to try and defend uh, the beacon, unfortunately my team for some reason was not up there, uh, but uh, luckily I was able to take out that Ares, and uh, save the beacon. Now I'm going to uh, just uh, counter heal here and uh, okay we were able to take him out so the beacon is now safe. I'm taking quite a bit of damage though. I will uh, try to uh, keep myself up and uh, any teammates that uh, might need a little bit of uh, health as well. I see this guy on the right, uh, try and get him taken out. Now I'm uh, I'm pretty much done on this robot, uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, move up and push along this right side once again. It causes them to focus on me rather than my teammates, and uh, sometimes that's just helpful. I mean, this robot is going to go down. He can't really do a lot of damage. He only has the one gust, so I might as well sacrifice him and... Uh, you know, get a little bit of damage or at least be somewhat of a diversion for my team. And uh, here I almost make it all the way to their home beacon uh, before they finally end up taking me out. And uh, there we go, I'm going to go down right here. But uh, you know what, I got some healing in, uh, I was able to uh, do some damage, get a few kills, uh, defended the beacon, but unfortunately it looks like my team uh, gave up center beacon, um, so I mean even though we do have uh, quite a big beacon bar advantage, I do want to try and get that beacon back just because you know it's you know such a good defensive position uh, on this map. Uh, it allows your team to uh, basically sit on the other side of the ramp or use the walls to help uh, defend the beacon. It's like I'm going up against another Ares here. Use my ability, try and uh, get him taken down. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't get him locked down off of the beacon, so it's going to be a little bit harder for me to try and get it turned. And uh, I was not able to, so unfortunately that Ares went down. He didn't really give a whole lot of uh, damage, but, you know, I was just, you know, that uh, center beacon really is that important. So I don't mind losing some of my uh, robots to uh, trying to get that beacon back. So now I'm dropping in uh, last spot. This is the Fenrir. Uh, this robot is so much fun. He is such a beast to, uh, to uh, contend with. And uh, I am going to move along the right side here. Looks like the uh, red team is pretty well uh, defending that center beacon, but I am going to do my best to try and get some of them taken out, or at least, uh, you know, get some of them to the last stand, and uh, hopefully my team can finish them off. So, be able to uh, hopefully take this guy down, so that's one less person to have to deal with. And uh, looks like there's somebody else down there at the bottom of the ramp. Like he's gonna hide, so I'm gonna focus my attention now in the uh, center of the beacon. Looks like a falcon there. Uh, this glory on here does surprisingly well against even a traditionalist falcon. So, um, you know, as long as I can keep my health up, um, I should be able to take out this traditionalist falcon. Looks like he's about to go down, and hopefully, okay, yep, looks like the uh, the reds were not there to try and give him support, so I was able to get that beacon back. Uh, I still have quite a bit of health here on this robot, so I'm just going to go ahead and push. Uh, as long as we have that beacon, and it looks like they are low on robots, uh, looks like they only have uh, half their team left, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, play a little more aggressively and just push them and try and uh, get a little bit of damage. 
So, looks like a white dragon just took off there on the right. Hopefully my uh, team is able to keep him out of center. Uh, I'm taking quite a bit of damage here, but uh, I can counter heal most of it. And I should be able to take this guy out right here. Hopefully he doesn't have a last stand. No, he doesn't. And uh, I should... Yep, I'm going to be able to get uh, get their side beacon here. So they, uh, I guess, didn't want to sacrifice their uh, robots to uh, keep the beacon. So I will take it. And uh, I should be able to uh, hopefully take one more of these guys out. Uh, maybe both. That would be nice. Okay, so he went down. And... There we go. I should go down as well. Okay, so I ended up getting a uh, rampage with this robot, which was pretty good considering I ended up taking two beacons with it, especially on a long map like this. But uh, I went down there at the end, and uh, we will take a quick look here at the score sheet and see how well I did. Uh, this one here, I did uh, quite well. I picked up almost 4,000 total honor points, and uh, let's see what that breakdown is. So uh, here I ended up uh, 2.4 million damage. Now a thing with a balanced hangar is a lot of times because you are concentrating on beacons and you are defending beacons with a tank, okay, there's two things to benefit from there. Okay, one, you're extending the gameplay, which allows you to get more damage. Um, the matches generally will be a little bit longer. Um, and then with a tank, when you are running a tank, usually they have a lot of health. And depending on how you set them up, uh, if you have heals, you can counter heal, heal yourself back up. Uh, man, that counts for a lot of damage at the end of a match. So it's just something to keep in mind uh, if you, you know, when you're trying to decide how you want to, uh, to play the game. And uh, so I did uh, really good damage there. I topped uh, both sides and I got quite a few honor points and we'll see how that breaks down here. So I got uh, top damage honor points 400, uh, top beacons captured 400, uh, top healing 400. I got uh, quite a few points there for the uh, deal damage. It looks like it says 144, but it's actually 1400. Uh, unfortunately, this screen, for whatever reason, it only shows the first three digits of a number. Um, but then I got uh, you know, another 500 points for destroying uh, robots, 470 for the win, uh, finishing the battle, 160 points, and you know, 150 just from capturing beacons, and then uh, repairing allies was only 14 points. But you know what? That's 14 more than I would get if I didn't have a healer in my lineup. So uh, that was uh, pretty good. Now I will show you the uh, three different matches that I played using the balanced hanger. So you can see the totals and the breakdowns for each one. And then uh, just like the, you know, like I did before, I will show you the average. So the average while using a balanced hanger was 3,677, which uh, is quite a bit more. Okay guys, so you've uh, seen the matches, now I uh, did three of each different style of gameplay and what I came up with was an overall average difference in honor points of 1549 when using the balanced hanger. Um, it's quite a bit, so uh, you know, just something for you guys to consider, it's really up to you guys how you play the game want to do it in a way that keeps the game fun for you but if you are looking to get those battle reward crates or you're farming the honors you know the honor points you know you might want to think about adding a healer in if you don't have one a tank uh whatever it is just take a look at your hangar maybe you know think about running a balanced hangar um now i'm not telling you that uh you know a damage hangar doesn't work because it is still extremely popular up in Champion League. You see a lot of people running it, but uh, you know, it's a decision that you're going to have to make on your own. Now, that's going to be it for me, guys. That's it for the video. I'm going to leave you guys with some uh, clips of uh, some really good gameplay that uh, I had when I was making this video. So I hope you enjoy them. And uh, if you haven't yet, please do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button. And until next time, Chief out. Double kill, triple kill.